Hello, painting peeps, and welcome to the No Bra Zone. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations coming at you again. Oh my gosh. Staying busy, doing things, yard work's done, house has never been cleaner, yard has never looked so good, painting is done, interior painting is done. So I've run out of honey-do lists. <laughs> so I am spending some time down here in my, uh, my wonderful, wonderful space. So let's talk about what we're doing today. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do something florally, flowery, leafy kind of thing. So, I was cleaning out my, um, my um, studio and I found this box of Arteza paints that um, I forgot that I had. So, happy day it is. I am using some of these Arteza paints. Let's talk about our colors. This yummy guy right here, super pretty, is Folk Art Treasure Gold, and this is their copper. Nice stuff, guys. This fun guy right here is a combination of the Arteza gold and the Arteza Aztec gold. I'm sorry guys, I need new glasses. But that's these two guys right here and it's number A127 and number A201. So these are mixed 50-50 in this pretty little cup right here. Our next color is such a nice green. This is Folk Art Treasure Gold, and this is the green gold or the vert. But this is really pretty. This will make kind of a nice leafy thing. This color right here is very, very shimmery. I hope you can see that. That's a combination of Arteza Cactus Green and Arteza Pearl Olive Green, number A230 and A232. This guy right here wanted a dark color and I didn't want to use black. Black just doesn't seem to dry well and I'm all out of that unicorn spit so what I did was I mixed up some of this Payne's gray and I added a little bit of black to it and I also have some black here by Artist Loft that I'm going to play with. Let's talk about our tools. I'm probably going to fiddle a little bit with some palette knives. I've got my handy dandy straw here. I might do a little swiping, a little blowing with the straw. And I also want to talk about our canvas. I just got these from Dick's Blicks today because they were on sale. These are the Paramount Gallery Wrapped Canvases. This is a 10 by 20. But what I love about these guys, if you're not framing your artwork and you use a gallery wrap deep canvas, they just look so beautiful hanging on the wall. Look how wide that guy is. He's almost two inches in depth. So I'm excited, nice canvas. When you open up the plastic, oh, one of my favorite parts of my day is when I unwrap my new canvas and that smell, that canvas smell, oh, it just makes me tingle all over. I absolutely love it. So Paramount, Dick's Blix, they're on sale. Other tools that we have. Now, a lot of people have asked me about these. Sandra Lett um, introduced me to these in one of her videos. This is an applicator right here that goes right on top of your two ounce deco art paint bottle. 
But what I do is when I empty out one of my decor art paints, I clean it out, hang on to it, and then mix whatever color I want in there. It goes right on top of the uh, bottle of paint. It has a self cleaner. There's your little pinpoint right there. And this has a little pinpoint. It's kind of a bear getting it back in there. But this self cleans itself once you stick this cap back on, once you're done using it. So I got this from Amazon. It's by Deco Art, and I believe it's called a writer's point. So lots of people ask me about that. But then I found these, they were half the price. You get five little of these plastic bottles that come with lids, mix your paint up, put it in there, cover it with the lid. Then when you're ready to get busy, you put this little cap on it right here, and then you can decide, see how that comes off, guys? You can decide which flow you want, meaning all of these little pin attachments have different widths to them for a thin stream, a medium stream, a thicker stream. So this was really nice. I think um, I got six of these little bottles and one, two, three, four, seven or eight applicators for $9, Amazon. I posted a picture of them at the end of my last video. I will post a picture at the end of this video. So enough talking. Oh, base coat, Artist Loft White, pouring medium, 75% Floetrol mixed with 25% GAC 800. And the same pouring medium is in my base coat and in my paint cups. People ask me that all the time. They send out that question. Same pouring medium on base coat, same pouring medium in the paint cups. So I'm put some music on, noodle over what the heck I'm gonna do right here, and then we're gonna get busy. Thanks for joining me, guys.
and I really love the swipe it down here to kind of represent uh, the grass. Let me bring you in for a close-up. Now I am going to stare at this a little bit. Um, I'm not fond of all that white popping up and I don't know what's going on down here. So let me tell you what I do in a section like this where this white is popping up. I go ahead and let it dry and then I repaint this section. Now you can't just paint the white part. You have to paint the whole black part or the sheen of the paint that you add won't match the dry sheen of this paint. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I wanna get a little bit more definition up here in these flower petals, as well as the stem. So I'll come back in with my Copic paint pens and maybe accentuate that just a little bit. But oh my goodness, this was fun. Those colors play well together. And the best part, I have all this left over, so guess what's coming next? I'm going to do a swipe, and maybe I'll stick it at the end of this video, or maybe I'll stick it as tomorrow or the next day's video. Um, I don't know. This took me, oh, probably about an hour and a half, and you're only going to see about eight or nine minutes of it, so we will see. Guys, thanks for joining me. That was fun. I'll tell you what, uh, this downtime of ours is uh i'm just <laughs> this painting is my saving grace while it's going on i'll tell you guys i'm just so darn grateful and i'm grateful for each and every one of you all be well be happy stay busy guys and i will miss you till i see you again bye painting peeps mm -hmm.